Hello coders, Synthetic Programming here with a brand new video for you guys today and today we are going to be programming the third and final method of uh, Pascal's triangle in Java. So today we're going to be doing recursion. Recursion is our third method. Our first method as you can see here was loops. After that we did binomial coefficients and now we are going to be programming Pascal's triangle in Java using recursion which I think personally is the best and it's the quickest method to program. It's the least amount of programming uh, for the same result. So uh, I started by creating a file called pascalrecursion.java. I am actually going to save that to um, our Pascal triangle folder. So you can see it over here. Uh, it says it's already, ah, oh, there we go. Okay, perfect. So uh, hit that save and then so now Pascal recursion.java is over here. We can edit it. Let us begin with our import. So import um, java dot util dot scanner capital uh, that is going to be our import scanner is how we get the user input remember the user is going to input the row uh, the maximum row to process until and then uh, we're going to print out all the rows up until that row okay so first we'll start by declaring our class so public class and name this the same thing as your file. So for me, it's Pascal recursion, like that, okay? Uh, then put your braces, and then after the braces, we will start by writing our first function, which will be print. So public, static, void, print. And print is going to be an int, it's called n. That's what we, we put in an int n. And uh, here we can start off with our loop so four and then we are going to have in the loop i equals zero okay and uh, that is going to be while i is less than n and uh, while i is less than n i will iterate boom just like that so let's put our brackets for the loop and inside of the loop we have yet another loop, so that's going to be for j equals zero, while j is less than i, less than or equal to i, um, I believe, yep, less than or equal to i, and then we're going to do j plus plus, just like that, okay? Um, am I right there? I am correct, okay, cool. So that is the second loop. We will put the brackets for that one. And inside of that loop, we have system dot out dot print, right? And what are we printing? But we are printing Pascal and then I J. Okay. Um, Pascal I J plus and then we are going to have a space. Boom, just like that. Awesome. So now uh, that we've done that, we are going to come out of this loop, just to the second loop here, and we're gonna write system uh, dot out dot print ln, so print line, right? Just like that. And that should have a semicolon on it as well. Perfect, okay, so that is our first function done, guys, awesome. So we have two brackets at the bottom. We can start writing our next of function. There are only three functions we have to write for this one. We're gonna write print, Pascal, and then main, the main function. So let's define Pascal. So we have public, static, right, int, and uh, that's Pascal, okay? And in Pascal, we're taking an int i and an int j. Okay, and uh, outside of here, we can put our braces, and now we put our conditionals. So if, okay, this is the first method to use conditionals, j is equal to zero, just like that. We put our braces like this. Uh, we say return, right, return one. Okay, so that is if, j is equal to zero. Now, elif, and you can write this right on the end of uh, the brackets here. Sorry, elif is Python, so else if, like that, okay. 
uh, else if j is equal to 1, right? Because that's, or sorry, uh, i, if j is equal to i. So this is another situation. Um, if j is equal to i, then we return 1 as well. Just like that, OK? And then we have our else. Else, perfect. If anything else happens, then we return, right? Pascal. So we're this is the recursive part because we're calling Pascal from inside Pascal. Uh, so now we have i equals. Oh, sorry, i minus one. Right, like that, comma j minus one. Let's just put some spaces to make it look a little nicer. Okay, and then we're not. So it's Pascal i minus one j minus one. And then we're actually adding to that Pascal of i minus 1 and then just j. OK? Um, I believe that is it for that function. Let me just check. Um, yes. OK, so that is it for that function. OK, that function is done. And now we can write our main function. So uh, public static void main okay this is our main function that's going to take a capital string like that and then args perfect okay so now that we have that we can put our braces and inside of our braces we need a scanner uh, this is the scanner class we're making one called scanner which is equal to um, a, a new sorry new scanner scanner object which takes system dot in like that right because we're taking input from the system so let's do it like that and then we put our semicolon after that we say system dot out dot print right not print ln just print and what are we printing we are printing what we want it to say we want it to say enter the maximum row to process. Row number to process. That'll be easier for people to understand. Put a semicolon after that. And now uh, under that, we're going to say that int row is going to be equal to uh, the scanner. Sorry, lowercase scanner. Uh, scanner dot next int right and then we will put a semicolon after that and now we say print row just like that and we wrote print up at the top if you remember this is the print function uh, this is the Pascal function where all the recursion happens and then down here we have our main function that calls everything into action this should be it guys let's try it out let's save that I'm gonna call a command prompt window up Let's do CD. Oh, sorry. So CD desktop CD into the file with Pascal's triangle. And now we are going to Java C Pascal, and then we need recursion. Pascal recursion.java. So let's hope there's no errors and see if it compiles. Whoa, okay, so there were nine errors. I'm going to take a second and I am going to quickly go through and just check and see. Oh, I know, okay, so sorry. Let's put an int there, int there. Let's save that and try it one more time. Okay, perfect. So that was all of our problems. There were really only two little issues there. Um, so now we can actually try running it. So let's type Java um, dot, okay, sorry, Java and then Pascal recursion like that with no extension. So just Pascal recursion, um, let's try it. Okay, so enter the maximum row number to process, let's do 15.
boom, there it is. The first 15 rows of Pascal's triangle using recursion. That's the fastest method. It's the prettiest method to program, and it's the shortest amount of work. Thank you guys so much for watching. Remember, all of this code in the video and the code for the other methods are, is going to all be up on GitHub, so I'll put, leave a link in the description for that. Uh, you guys can go through that link to see all the code if you want to copy it, if you want to look through it. I'll also add a little readme uh, that'll give you guys some more information on the program. Uh, please rate, comment, and subscribe to support the channel. Um, thank you to our two patrons on Patreon. Our website is syntheticprogramming.com, and I will see you guys in the next one. Peace, guys.